Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B. Today we've got Mr. Dan Maliri for you and Dan is bringing us some Bullens Pythons or a Bullens Python to check out as well as one other really cool species that I think you guys will trip out on because I really tripped out on it. If you haven't watched the vlog channel this week, make sure there's always a link in the description to go check it out because we went to the San Jose Reptile Show and it was really good and there was some really cool things happened there and I caught some cool things on camera and you would be doing yourself a favor if you went over there and looked at it. So. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start talking to Dan. He's always a good person to have here on Triple B TV. You're watching Triple B TV. I mean, I, maybe I do. Maybe I do, Dan. <laughs> I want to see what it takes. How easily are you offended? <laughs> so, what's going? When are you moving to Thailand? Um, I have 12 months left of work, just a hair over. So, I feel like when I get to the 12-month mark, I, I'm going to start getting this weird anxiety because it's coming up. It, Time goes by really, really fast. Well, you've been planning this for a hot minute now. It's I been... have. I was, I was planning on already being retired, and then my my employment was kind of like, well, yeah, all that stuff that we told you, that's true, except you're not retirement age, so you have to resign now. And I'm like, wait a second. No one ever said anything about resign. You just said I could defer my retirement. So when I started looking into the resigning portion of it, it's like, yeah, so basically all your accrued time goes bye-bye, your sick leave, whatever, and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. They said, but you can donate it to somebody. And I said, hell no. Why are they always trying to screw you guys? People that have used the crap out of their sick leave, and I don't, and I'm not giving any of that away. So anyway, so I'm just sticking it out. It's already been like six months since I found that out and it feels like it's been like a month like it's going so fast it'll be yeah that's yeah like the closer that it gets it's not going to slow down it's going to because it I I was in this position before and I started getting nervous as my tentative date was coming up which didn't happen but it, I was starting to get nervous and the more nervous I got about it the faster it seemed like the time to start going. Well, it's going to be a it's going to be a big change for you. I mean, you've spent time over there a bunch, but it to is. go from working here to just living there full time, that's going to be a yeah. well, well, luckily, we, luckily well, you've been immersed a bit culturally, but yeah, I'm cool with all that. Um, but we have many, many plans that are starting to just pop up. And now my brain is like really working extra hard. And my brain already is constantly all these ideas and, and things, you know, and should I do this, should I do that, and all this. And then it also seems like because so many people have gotten to know me over the years, now I'm getting people that are trying to hire me for lots of like overseas ventures and things. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. It's like, hey, how about managing this for us over here? How, what about doing this for us over there? And I'm like, wow, this is getting really interesting. I'm getting pulled like a lot of different ways. Mm. So I don't think I'm really going to be retired at all. Yeah. Well, it's probably, I mean, you, you always want to stay busy with something. I, I will always stay busy because I'm, that's how I am. Yeah. Like, I know for sure. But even like the last trip to Indonesia, I guess I'm sort of being pushed into a, um, into like a consulting position for tourism and like conservation management in Papua for some of those small regencies because like a lot of those government people have reached out. So I feel like, wow, like I don't know what's going on with that either. But it's, there's some big stuff going on. And I'm like, I'm just tripping out. I, don't I, I think when you move from the, the United States to South, Southeast Asia in particular, you tend to like, those things come to you. Um, I know my uncle moved there. My uncle uh, was born in the Philippines, but lived and grew up here in the States and moved back there. And next thing you know, he's like doing stuff with the president and whatnot. You oh, know, yeah. And so. oh, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm open to whatever. Yeah, know? yeah. It'll be, well, I'm looking forward to coming over and visiting you oh, and going yeah, herping yeah. out there. That's for what sure. I, that's, sure. that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. 
I know you brought something cool. I don't know how you're never gonna top the burrito, so don't even try. We'll, we'll see what. This might top the burrito. This might top it the burrito. Might. It might. Okay, yeah. let's see. Yeah. Let's see what you got. And I'm keeping it within arm's reach. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> how many cameras do you want for this? <laughs> yeah. So Boland's Python. This is a female. Um, she's from early 2016. They're really cool. They're a trip. Unbelievable feeding response, like a scary, scary feeding response. But um, once I hook, hook her and remove her out of the cage, tamest, sweetest snake there is. Just unbelievable. This is my first time getting to touch a Bolin's python. And uh, I'm getting this like retic slash carpet vibe. Yeah. Well, the genus is uh, Somalia. It used to be Morelia along with the scrub pythons, and it's been renamed to Somalia, but um, they're in the same genus, so there are definitely a lot of similarities. And it's another another gem that comes out of Papua. It's, Papua is just full of just awesome, incredible animals. Well, this is kind of like a holy grail of pythons for python keepers. I mean, uh, you, everybody, uh, yeah. there's so many people that are like, oh, Bolin's python. Oh, yeah. I mean, think that a big part of that has to do with the, the rarity in the hobby? I mean, they're obviously super cool snakes. There's, I mean. They're super cool is part of it, but most of the people that revere these as like the ultimate python have never interacted with one. And once you have, then you also realize that this is a freaking really cool animal. It's, it's just a really, really nice, sweet animal. It's really cool. But they, when they first hatch, they're kind of that reddish color, just like uh, scrub pythons are. And then over time, they start to darken, and they have different um, degrees of the banding and that. But um, the iridescence is there. I'm sure you can see it. I can see it real well, even on with your camera lights. But in the sun, it's pretty intense. Yeah, I mean, it's it's there. Well, you've got that nice dark black yeah. background, and it's, yeah. it really pops out. Uh, it's like it's it's probably my wife's favorite snake because she realizes how cool it is, how nice it is, and every once in a while she's like, "Take it out. We want. I want to do some photos. <laughs> you know, do her little Instagram, Facebook thing." They're so cool looking. That's yeah. why. I mean, the way that you, those lip stripes that enhance the uh, the labial scales yeah. there is just. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And, and the, I've, I've been invited to, um, with some of the local uh, trackers to go, um, these guys know where they're at and they've, they've watched, like it's one of the perks that comes with doing YouTube videos, like tastefully, you know, like doing real good ones. Um, they like what they see on my channel and they like that I'm promoting um, the animals in that area and this and that. And so um, they've invited me because of that. They've invited me to um, to get out there and film some of these guys in the wild too. So I'm going to be doing that when I have the time to when I'm retired and moved over there. It's definitely one of my things. Well, you let me know when you do that. I'll come hold a camera for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. So how are you planning to? Top, you, you're not going to top the Bolins now. I mean, the, the no, burrito. I'm not. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not. But I'm definitely going to top the weirdness factor with this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crazy. <laughs> this is the strangest snake I've ever seen, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. This um, snake has ears, bro. What are you trying to do around here? <laughs> yeah. They're really weird. It's a legless lizard. Another strange animal from Papua. Um, Lyalis jacari is the Latin name, and they have little remnants of legs that sometimes when they're moving you can see like a little claw. They've even got less remnants of legs than pythons do. Yeah, yeah, but the thing that's really weird about these is that I think their vent is here, way down here, but this is a leg remnant. Yeah, I see I that. I think, I'm not 100% sure, what it looks I didn't like. tell you the truth, they're really bizarre. Very, very odd. Yeah. In the wild, they eat skinks. That's their primary It looks diet. like a skink. Yeah. It looks like a little skink that lost its legs. Yeah, right. 
but they feed on skinks in the wild. And I have heard of some hobbyists being able to get these things to feed on other things. Um, that's about it. I have not kept these long term. I'm not an expert in these, but I just think they're really weird. I don't know if you see it that. is very weird. You know, as a as a snake keeper, you look at it and you're like, oh, it's a, it's a, not a snake, yeah. but it's so snake like. Yeah. But it's just it's literally it's like. It looks like a lizard that lost its legs yeah. and it's like trying to squirm around without its legs. Oh yeah. If you, if you time it right, they, they use their tongue like a lizard, kind of lick their face and it's really weird. Because they're just so snake-like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But lizards. <laughs> It's, it's such a strange animal. This guy's posing like, that's a, that's a real poser right there. Yeah. They're both posing. There he goes. Get him in action, Riley. <laughs> He's going to do something. He's going to do something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go get us burritos. Go get us burritos, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So odd. Yeah, really weird. What a freaking cool thing, man. The really cool color, too, that, that yeah, tan I mean, color. Is, I, it's, it's, it, it's not something that I'm an expert in, so that's why I kind of have like a lack of words. I, I don't even really know how to describe them. It's just really bizarre. I feel like they would go really well in like a classic uh, living room setting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real um, like naturalistic where they can go through leaf litter. Tan and, and like... They just, they would match that, you know, what's that, that's that color that everybody was painting their, their house for a long time? That, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you can see, you see that right Oh, now? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Riley. The show now open. Here, I'm trying to hold it so Riley can get it. The spur, the leg spurs are trying to like spur out. Yeah, it's like a walking, using it like a kind well, of a I'll walking see if I can. Oh, oh, oh. Is, do you see it spurring out? You do? Oh, yeah, that's what I brought today, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> that was definitely cool. I mean, I, I'll, although I'm not going to be satiated physically no, in my no. gut from the uh, Bolins, uh, yeah. I felt like that satiated something a burrito. No burrito could ever. Right, right. No burrito could satiate that yeah. Bolins python yeah. feeling, man. That was cool. Well, if I sell it tomorrow, I'll come with burritos. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that thing with Dan. I mean, it's always great to have Dan on. He always has really cool animals. We can always count on him to, to do that. So I'm looking forward to Dan being at all the shows in the future, even when he moves on to his future endeavors to go overseas, see him coming back here for the shows would be great. Next week, we're gonna be coming back to the Herpeton Talks with Mr. Russ Gurley, giving us some information on turtles and tortoises and their future in herpeticulture. Until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. Man. I appreciate you coming over here right before the show opens like that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, make it happen, bro. Thank you. I'll get you all strapped off. Well, it's the first time they're both here, yeah. Um, my dad, the first, very first time I came to the show was uh, my dad and I. Oh, wow. And my buddy Josh. Riley, can you make sure that um, we're both in screen on that thing right there? I'm going to grab this coffee because it seems like the right thing to do. Yeah. No, he no, he got his he got a snake when he was here too. Oh, really? He's got a Taru Marmont King Snake. Huh? Oh, nice. I think I feel like I should put this down because I don't want to look like a jerk that didn't offer you a cup. Like, hi Dan, how you doing? <laughs> what, you want something to drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you should have the, the logo on the other side so that way your arm is out of the way rather than. But uh, oh, you mean I should have the handle on this side? Yeah, but if you sit it around, then there's no logo. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I've got this over here. I know, but then you got your arm right there. Is my arm in your yeah. way? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't want to offend anybody. I had a joke that I was going to do, and I don't know, it's not really G-rated. Oh, we can always cut it out. I, I was going to start out with some BS about uh, a new ball python morph called a Benwa ball. <laughs> <laughs> a what now? A Benwa ball. Benwa ball? Oh, here, Google it, and you'll... <laughs> Ah! <clears throat> uh.
<clears throat> one second, one second, guys. One second. I'll, I'll be out there in a second, okay? <laughs> <clears throat>